Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be showing you how to make this adorable unicorn note holder. For this DIY, you will have to draw a little bit, but if you are not good at drawing, you can just use the template in the description box below. Once you have the template downloaded, trace it and cut it on a piece of cardboard. I would recommend you to use thick cardboard so that this DIY can last longer. So you will have two pieces like this that are going to be the legs and one that's going to be the body. You will also need a blade. I got mine from a box of aluminum foil and it measures 4.4 centimeters. Make a small hole on the pieces that are going to be the legs. Make sure it's big enough so that a wooden dowel or a small stick can fit through. The stick has to measure about 6.3 centimeters. This is what will hold the roll of paper to write our little notes. And to make the actual paper roll, I will be using some strips of paper with the measurements above. And I actually use seven of these strips. Once you get to the end of one strip, you can easily just overlap both pieces of paper and keep on going. Once you have a roll that's about this big, you can remove the small stick that in my case was a little bit bigger than the roll, and you can use a small hair tie to secure the roll while you continue to the next step. This step is optional, but I would recommend you to use some hot glue to fill in the gaps of the cardboard. This is what I mean by that. As you can see, this piece has glue all around it, and it just makes it sturdier and a lot stronger. Cover both sides of your pieces with any color cardstock. And the same goes for the legs. You just have to remember to make that little hole you made. To cover the raw edges, you can use some craft foam or even just the cardstock itself. What you have to do is cover the neck and the head and the back, but make sure to not cover the chest because it will look bulkier and it won't work. The next step is to glue on the blade. You can use some multi-purpose glue or strong glue. Make sure that when you glue it, a little bit is sticking up. To hold the blade in place while the glue is still drying, you can use a binder clip, but I'm just using tape since I didn't have it. Now add some glue onto this part and bring the legs and put it on this side so that they're glued together. And this is how it works. First take the small wooden stick and put the paper roll through it. Then put the wooden dowel into the little hole and push it. Then take the other pair of legs and put the other side of the little wooden dowel through the hole. Holding the legs, push down the little body. Now you should have something like this. You can even add some little ears to make it even more detailed and cute. But... That little animal did not convince me, so I decided to make a little unicorn, and this time I'm using some markers for details. And for the final touch, I added some glitter. Shake off the excess and you're done! Look how cute, magical, and unicorny it looks. Is that even a word? Well, it is now. This time, I'm not gluing anything down. I'm just putting the paper rolls between the two legs, holding them still, or at least trying to. <laughs> Let me try again. Okay, holding them still, you will have to carefully push the body onto the legs. And whenever you need a little bit of paper to write a note, just pull it, push it, and tear it. And by the way, these are the markers from my last video. I made a kitty and a panda. And if you like kawaii stuff, don't forget to follow my kawaii Instagram, cute kawaii DIY. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite by commenting a unicorn emoji or a dog emoji.